Most of us know at least one person struggling with depression or anxiety. It might be a friend or family member, and you probably want them to get all the help that they can. What you might not know is that one of the best things you can do to help people suffering from these conditions is to ask the government to reclassify psilocybin, the psychedelic ingredient of magic mushrooms. This will make it easier for doctors like me to test it as a treatment. We need to find new treatments because studies show that existing medications don't work well for up to half of those suffering from depression and anxiety. Millions of people in the United Kingdom need more effective treatment options as soon as possible. Preliminary studies, like the ones I've been involved with at King's College London and Imperial College London, suggest that psilocybin can help many patients who haven't benefited from the standard treatments get back to feeling their usual selves. And whilst many standard treatments involve taking a drug every day, psilocybin therapy involves just a few day-long sessions with no ongoing medication. It seems psilocybin could bring hope and relief to many patients, including some who have been suffering for years. Unfortunately, psilocybin is currently classified as a Schedule One substance by the UK government. This means it cannot be prescribed by doctors outside of licensed studies and makes conducting research with psilocybin much more time-consuming and expensive relative to other drugs. By reclassifying psilocybin to Schedule II, research would become easier and cheaper so that people can benefit from this treatment sooner. You might be worried about the safety of psilocybin, but studies of people who use psilocybin mushrooms have repeatedly found that they are remarkably safe relative to other commonly used recreational and medical drugs. Psilocybin is not toxic to the body, not addictive, and does not adversely affect long-term mental health when used responsibly. Indeed, it may improve it. Click the link to learn more and sign the petition so that people suffering from depression and anxiety get the help they need.